You come to me. You come to me. Sign up for the Patreon. You're inboxing me. You're going cool. I'm having a problem, TB. No one can explain it to me. All this stuff. Okay. I didn't catch it the first two days. I'm going to the shop, figuring out what's wrong with the truck. I'm getting 10 different conversations with that. Come back. When am I going to get my truck back? I don't know. It could be another week. All right. All right. All right. We've all done the mechanic rigmarole. We've done it. But all right, let me check my emails. Let me check what's going on. I catch. I said, man, what is what is what is going on? I don't know. I'm ready to quit. This is this is not what it was. I feel like y'all sold me. Stop. Peace to the God and the rebirth. Stop. Stop. Y'all. That's the word I have a problem with. Y'all. Who's y'all? No, I just mean YouTube in general. Hmm. So I guess I'm included in that. Okay, what did y'all tell you? I will come out here and make a bunch of money. I'm not making a lot of money. It don't seem like more money. You know, I'm actually going broke. My checks are ending up only being four to $600. I feel like that, you know, I've been lied to. I don't see how no, you know, no, uh, I'm, I don't see how to make money in this. I'm working my hardest. I haven't been home in this long. I mean, just piled it on me. Hold on. Why are you? Okay. All right. Let's slow down. Because I'm trying to help you, but you just you're throwing so much at me. So somebody told you, right, that you were gonna come in the game and make a bunch of money. So let's stop there. What is a bunch of money? I mean, I've heard numbers like two hundred thousand. Whoa, honestly, two hundred grand. Okay, doing what? I mean. Coming in the trucking industry. Let's stop. Dude, that means so much. <laughs> that means so much. The trucking industry, bro. Wh- what are you doing in the trucking industry? You know, driving trucks. Oh, okay, I get that. But what What division? What, 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 what? They just told you, you get your CDLs, you make $200,000. That's what, that's what you heard that from. Well, that's what y'all was saying. See, there you go again. Y'all. So you saying you came to me. To the rebirth and the re-education And I told you all you need was a CDL You got $200,000 That's what you tell me I told you you was going to come in the game You going to get a CDL And just next check was five grand Like that's You didn't That, that was it Well I'm not saying you I'm just saying the 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 You know I mean just the industry The YouTube in general You hear people talking about money That's true You do hear people talking about money Bro I don't know where you're getting this from You have to do, You have to learn Let's pull it back. How long have you been driving? Y'all don't want to hear how long you've been driving, y'all. I, I can't even tell. Because it, it's coming from you young cats, bro. How long you been driving, bro? You call me. So, IG, get on the call. Bro, how long have you been driving? Six months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you work? Swift You work at Swift Yes You've been driving six months Yes And you thought you were going to be making $200,000 a year Well that's what y'all said See now I got to stop you Because now we we talking now I ain't never told you that So stop saying y'all Y'all is inclusive Who told you You were going to get $200,000 a year Who told you that I want their name I mean, I don't remember exactly who. Nobody told you that, bro. I won't let you do that to the brethren that does trucking YouTube. Nobody told you you're going to make $200,000 a year. No one did that. And if you can't give me their name or send me a video, I'm going to say you're lying. You're, You're lying or you mistook it. You're lying. I'm not lying. I mean, I heard him. I mean, I ain't, you know, I don't remember any. I ain't really a, a social media dude. I must stop you. Here you go again. You're calling me on social media. You say you watch social media to make the decision to come into a field. So you are a social media dude. Stop lying. That's a hood thing niggas do. Niggas, oh, I don't do social media. I don't do social media. That's a thing. That's like a macho thing. It's like, hey, you know, huh, you know, I don't wear lip gloss. Like, it's, it's one of them type of things. Okay. That's true. That's true. That sounds good. But here goes the thing. Here's the thing. You can't tell me who told you the video. You've been driving for six months. 
You work at a company that doesn't normally pay that kind of money out, especially to a company driver. And I'm assuming you're a company driver. Why would you say that? Because the way you're talking, you're new and you don't understand how the money breaks down. So that tells me you're a company driver. You're not, you're not a lease driver yet. Because if anyone told you a number like $200,000, they would tell you you'd be owning a truck. See, and this feeds back into the re-education. This feeds back into the re-education. You do not watch content that educates you. You watch content that entertains you. If you're here based on your education, you would know exactly how the money break down. But you just jumped into a situation and thought, hey, I'm going to get $200,000. Dude, all lawyers don't make $200,000. You just don't get to get your degree and just come on out and you're a public prosecutor making two fifty. dollars That's not how that works, bro. You do know you have to get good at what you're doing, right? You do know that, right? This is, this is the problem. You got to get good, bro. You, at this point, he's almost yelling at me. He's yelling. We need to dial it back, roll it back, send me your logs. I'll send you my logs. I mean, all right, stop it this way. How long do you stay in a sleeper? How many times do you stop a day? I mean, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? You're calling me telling me your checks are not what you want them to be, but you don't want to talk about the thing that affects your check. Now I'm calling you bullshit, bro. You paid the money to get in here to get close to me, to talk to me. Now I'm here to talk to you and you don't want to hear what I have to say. Then when you get in here with me and I start asking you tough questions, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. How fast do you run your truck? Yeah, I mean, 65, so you run your truck at, at full bore. How many times do you stop a day? I mean, it, it it depends. You know, maybe four or five. You stop five times a day on a drive day? What do you mean drive day? You don't, okay. There's a day you pick up. Excuse me. There's a day you pick up, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. And there's a day where you just wake up and you drive, shut down, and go to sleep. Right, that's a drive day. A full drive day. You understand that? Yeah, on a full drive day, how many times do you stop a day? I'll say between four and six. Okay, there's money right there. Where do you stop? Because at this point, I'm getting frustrated, so now I'm just going to throw questions at you. Where do you stop? Oh, uh, I mean, it depends on where the food is. Write that down. You're not stopping based on time. You're stopping based on what you want to eat and what you want to see. Okay. All right, that's cool. How long do you sleep in the sleeper? Sleep, sleep. How do you stay in the? Sl- How long do you stay in the sleeper? Uh, I mean, you only got to be in there ten hours. No, I'm not asking you about the rule. I'm asking how much do you, you, stay in the sleeper? Uh, go to your thing. Go to your um. Go to your graph. Pull it up. Pull up your eight day. Pull it up. Okay, t- you see sleeper time. Yeah, how long are you in there? Uh, fourteen five. And they go to the next day, 15, next day, 13, next day, 12, next day, 16, next day, 13, next day. Come on, man. Peace to the God and the rebirth. You didn't come here with them numbers, did you? Did you? You're not. I told, I told him straight to you. Dude, you're not one of my subs. You're not one of my subs. No, I've been watching you for a while. You may have watched me, but you're not one of my subs. You're not one of the people that be in my life. There's no, there's, there's just freaking no way, bro. The people who's in Trucker Brown live don't play them numbers, bro. They don't play them. Not Trucker Brown's live people who be in this live talking. They don't do that. And and if it is, it's a reason. It's like, I'm really, really close. I can't pick the load up until two o'clock. Then they get a 16 hour. But on, well, on the drive, when they're getting it, they're not in the, in the freaking sleeper 14 hours, dog. But I'm on time, so what does that matter? And here's the problem. You're trying to ask me what it matters like you have enough information about our subject matter to give pointers. You don't. You're supposed to listen. And you don't want to listen, which is why you're in this current position. No, that has nothing to do. I mean, I know guys stop you right there. Don't do that. Peace to the God. You can't do that to me. Don't tell me that you know a guy that's in the sleep for 18 hours a day. You didn't even know where to go look for your sleeper. So don't tell me you even have this discussion with people you know. Don't tell me that. That's not true. Don't tell me that. Stop. No. Forget about it. No.
Don't don't say that. That's not true. No. No, you don't. You don't know no dude who's out here 18 hours as a sleeper. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's impossible. That's impossible. That's your money right there. You are sloppy on your clock, so you're not making no money. Well, man, I mean, it's really to come. No, no, you're not going to be able to put this on Swift, bro. Because that's something you like to do Because you probably got a lot of Facebook friends and all that And you go to Facebook groups and we rag on Swift Yeah, that's nice Listen, Swift is giving cats 40-something cent walking out the door, Playboy You should be able to make some money over there And they have unlimited freight So stop Stop telling me you can't make money at Swift I ain't trying to hear that Swift got dedicated runs, local runs, regional runs, long-distance runs, intermodal runs Dude, they got everything, bro the work is there. Don't and we have to stop this. Y'all got to stop blaming the company. This is getting old. Stop. You are at one of the top regimes. You can make some money if you ran. That's a fact. You, don't do that. Don't don't bring Swift into it and Swift ain't making you no money. No, nah, player. No, nah, it's you. It's you, bro. You're you're losing your own money. Nah, I ain't trying to hear that, man. I be on time, bro. I be on time. And here goes the crooks. The Guda Glanja of the problem. You think being on time is all you got to do. I mean, that's the job. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a piece. That is a fraction, infinitesimal piece of the job. That is a piece of it. You think as long as I'm on time, I ran that load correctly. And that is incorrect. I mean, what else could I have possibly done? All right. First of all, you're swift. I'm assuming by your laziness, you're dry van. Yeah, your dry van. That means you got dropping hooks, bro. You you have you have dropping hooks. You can't tell me you don't. I know Swift got dropping hooks all day long. Now look, my look at the chat. <laughs> you think getting on time is the only thing you need to know? I was on time, so you're dropping hook. You're driving. That means a lot of that shit is drop. First of all, who worked at Swift before? Let's let. No, I'm not even gonna do this. Who has worked at Swift before? Does Swift have a lot of dropping hook? Swift is ninety percent dropping hook. Oh my god. Yes, Swift definitely has dropping hook. Ninety percent dropping hook. So when a person or driver tells you, "All I have to do to be on time is to make money," and he's not making money. And you're at a place that has 90% drop in hook and you're in the drive van division. Is that a true statement? Because how much money is being lost if you got drop in hooks and you showing up at the last minute? Got a load coming from the Chattahoochee River all the way to California. And you getting there at the last minute to drop off and you think you're in good standing. When if you would have ran your shit tight, you could have got there a day early and been reloaded with another drop in hook? That's free money, dog. Come on, any these dudes in here that drive, you give them two dropping hooks back to back, they done made some money. They was early for the pickup and the drop off twice. Because they, what they're going to do is when they see that, they don't slow their truck down. They speed up. I'm about to get these joints off me. Hey, Mark, we haven't got there yet. Mark, don't do that. Let me give me a second. We haven't got to the, to the recaps yet. You got two dropping hooks back. I mean, 90% of your week is... How many of y'all would love for 90% of their week to be dropping hook on both ends? How many people would love, how many people would love that? Show of hands. Rodney Marlan for the light, for the lady. I see you, Rodney. How many people would love that? T.Y., I know it is. Oh my God. Wouldn't that be beautiful? On both ends, do you hear me? For 90, so if you do four lows that week, three of them joints was dropping hook on both ends. Brian, I see you. On both, do you know how freaking gravy that is? Ever, that, so let me get this right, because the drivers in here who got experience know that load come across your desk and it say, go get it when you want to just drop it in the yard. When you get down. Oh, we love those phrases, man. Give me a break. That's the best, the best, both ends, both ends. And you're going to haul, but 
Man, oh, y'all showing love. It's better to show love to the cash than take 50% of the regime. But thanks for the love. I appreciate that. You telling me I can go get this when I want. It's going to be sitting on the yard. See, there's new people here, y'all. I got 1,200 new subs this month. So let's let's break it down for the newbies that got here. All the, all my all my veteran guys with the blue letters when next to their name and all that. A drop in hook means I can pull up with a trailer. He's gonna tell you to what? Drop that in the empty lot. Right? I can drop this on the empty lot. Go over here, your trailer's gonna be on this side. You pick the trailer up, you roll back here, make sure your things, your tandems are pulled back. You're going to sign your paperwork, make sure your situation is good, pop the seal on it, and you're out of there. Or if the load is not loaded yet, I still like a drop and hook because I'm going to go here and drop the trailer off. See, this see, hey, hey, King, chill. I'm about to tell, I'm about to hurt him. The load is not done yet. King gets to the place. And Busa gets to the place. EJ gets to the place. And it's not done yet. Right? It's not done yet. So, okay, cool. When did it be done? Oh, it'll be done in two, three hours. Okay, I'm here early, so I knew that was going to happen. Guess what King gets to have for two, three hours? King gets to have a bobtail semi truck around this city. And that's like Christmas to a veteran trucker. So the first thing King is going to do is be like, cool, can I go get something to eat? They'd be like, yeah, come back at so-and-so. He's Pop Tizzy. It's a wrap. King gets to go to a real restaurant in the middle of the city. Because to us, a bobtail semi-truck is a pickup truck to us. This is a car to me now. I'm, I'm hot boy in this joint, right? It's a wrap. I'm going anywhere I want to go. Anywhere I want to go. So if I want to go to, uh, 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 I'm down in Texas, down the county, and I want to go to Papa Cito's, you hear me? And I get down there, I get to the place at the drop and hook at 4 p.m. And they tell me, oh, it's going to be a while. I get to go to Papa Cito's, true or false? Okay, cool. I get to go to Papa Do's. I'm going to, uh, man, I'm going to drop that trailer, say, I'm going to run, give me something to eat real quick, come back. Oh, you got time. I'm going to hit the road, go down the county. I'm going to go right over to Papacito's or, or Papa Nose. I'm going to park in the back somewhere, take three spaces. Nobody cares. I'm going to go in there and eat like a king. We love dropping hooks. That's a wrap. That's how it works. Right? Also, if you in a city... Right? You in the city where you know people, you may have a little honey dip down there. And here's the thing. You may slide over to this honey dip, chill with her for four hours, get you some special attention, come back. Come on, man. You didn't even waste no time because the load wasn't ready. And then on top of that, on top of it, the shipper has the audacity to call you when it's done. To call you when it's done. What what else do you want? They're going to call you say, hey, man, your load's ready. All right, man, I'm going to try to make it back over there down the counter see if I can get it. Oh, uh, can I, what time do y'all close? No, it'll be out there. Your paperwork will be in there. You can pick it up anytime you want. Y'all not listening to me. Oh, oh, King, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm saying too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now they saying I'm talking too much. I got to be quiet. Y'all ain't even hit the cash out of the day anyways. I don't know why I'm telling all these drip. 